popular opinion. Supporting local independent businesses is usually a waste of time. The title again, supporting local independent businesses is usually a waste of time. And the explanation, I love the idea in theory of putting your money back into your local community and supporting jobs in your local economy rather than pouring cash into faceless, taxless, international mega corporations. But more often than not, small local businesses will have unreliable opening hours, low wages for staff, high prices, and questionable value or service. It just doesn't work the way it's meant to. On top of that, most small independents around here go bust due to high rent and never being open outside of office hours, sell out to a chain, or the owner shuts up shop to retire abroad with your money anyway. Uh, so I'll read it one more time. It's pretty short. Basically, just three big sentences. They're, they're a little bit long, too, but... Supporting local independent businesses is usually a waste of time. I love the idea, in theory, of putting your money back into the local uh, community, excuse me, and supporting jobs in your local economy, rather than pouring cash into faceless, taxless, international mega corporations. But more often than not, small local businesses will have unreliable opening hours, low wages for staff, high prices, and questionable value or service. It just doesn't work the way it's meant to. On top of that, most small independents around here go bust due to high rent and never being open outside of office hours, sell out to a chain, or the owner shuts up shop to retire abroad with your money anyway. Uh, okay, that's the opinion. Before we do anything else, let's try and look at the, the language, right? Uh, we always look at the English first and see if there's any strange words or vocab or even sometimes pronunciation. So, uh, a waste of time. A waste of time. Time, money, energy, uh, information, um, space. Uh, any resource, right? We can use this expression, a waste of something. Uh, and that would mean that, that you're doing something and you're, you're, you're not um, utilizing the resource that you're talking about. So a waste of time would be to do something uh, that does not change or have any ultimate effect. Uh, in the end, a waste of money would be to spend money on something and you, you are buying something that will not do what it's supposed to do or it will do it badly. Um, waste, of, uh, waste of space, right, in a room. Uh, you waste space if you put furniture in a position where, oh no, you can't use the corner of the room. Uh, so waste of resources. Um, I love the idea of putting your money back into your local community and supporting jobs, pouring cash into faceless, taxless, international mega corporations. Uh, so the, there's a phrasal verb buried in that sentence, to pour something into something else. You can pour your heart into something. Uh, in this example, it was pouring cash into faceless, taxless international mega corporations. So, to pour something into something else, uh, let's let's do something more f physical, right? Think of uh, pouring beer into a glass, pouring water into a cup, uh, and so you are filling something up, right? So when you pour your heart into something. You are putting all of your emotions into it, all of your effort, uh, all of it, right? If you're pouring cash into something, yet you're putting a lot of something into, uh, in this case, um, local business or, you know, they use the, the, 
the example of pouring cash into mega corporations, right? Pouring your cash into Apple or into Microsoft or into um, Google or whatever, Nike. Um, so what else can we pick apart here? Unreliable. We've done reliable before. Um, rely would be the verb, R-E-L-Y or epsilon. Uh, reliable is trustworthy uh, with high confidence. So unreliable would be not reliable, not trustworthy, inconsistent. Um, so unreliable opening hours would be Hey, we open today at uh, maybe five minutes after the hour, or uh, maybe I'm running late. Maybe um, you know some days. We <laughs> some days we open at one hour, other days another hour. Uh, so unreliable, unreliability. We've used this word before in a different episode. I don't remember which one, but uh, you'll see reliable a lot with technology. Reliability, like cars, is another category where you will see the word, um, you know, as like a, a characteristic, right? Good reliability or poor or bad reliability, meaning it's not consistent. Um, low wages, low pay, low pay, low wages, wage, W A G E. Um, it doesn't work the way it's meant to. Uh, it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Um, okay, in the last, uh, I guess it's a sentence. On top of that, it's sima jiso. On top of that, most small independents around here go bust, B-U-S-T, due to high rent uh, and never being open outside of normal hours. Uh, to go bust. This is an expression. To go bust. Uh, to lose all your money, to go bust, uh, or simply to bust, right? I believe this word is used in poker and card games as well. Uh, when you lose a hand, you lose your money. I could be wrong about exactly how they use it, but essentially bust means to lose or go broke, to lose it all, to go bust. Uh, high rent, sell out to a chain, sell out. To sell out to someone. To sell out is to accept the money and give away the business. Uh, to accept the money and give away your shares. Right In another episode, I believe it was an AP headline, uh, we did buy out. It was Elon Musk actually about Twitter. He's buying out Twitter. Uh, sell out is the same thing, but the other side. right? You're not buying, you're selling, you're giving away your shares, your portion of something, and accepting the equivalent value uh, in cash. So selling out to a chain would be, uh, hey, I have um, uh, a small company and I'm in the same industry as a big company. And the big company says, okay, you're doing pretty good. Here's a check. Uh, if you take the check, we will take your business and um, you no longer are the owner of your company. We can control your, your company, how we decide. So selling out to a chain uh, or the owner shuts up to retire abroad. We did abroad recently in a, in a episode. Um, abroad meaning not here, far away, usually in a foreign or in a, in a, in a different country, uh, but, but generally just far away, far away. Uh, that's it. We don't have any more Juicy words here to break down. Uh, it's a very short opinion from Veggie Barian, user Veggie Barian. Uh, and uh, so again, the, the title of the opinion, supporting local independent businesses is usually a waste of time. Uh, I disagree. I, I don't think so. I mean, uh, they mentioned the first sentence is about um, why it's better, okay, yes, it's a good idea in theory to not give your money just to big uh, corporations who don't pay taxes, right, taxless, who are faceless, they don't you know, <laughs> call customer service, you don't get a human, um, and you go to a store and you just have a manager who has to call corporate and they, you know, 
they don't have any personal investment into the company, no real control. Uh, and then they, they explain why. Uh, unreliable opening hours. Okay, you know, that's not so difficult. You can still go on Google. Yeah, sometimes it's incorrect, the information about when stores are open, but I've never had a, a true problem getting into a store <laughs> that I need to go to because of the opening hours. Uh, low wages for staff. Yeah, okay, low wages for staff. I think uh, uh, independent small business would pay low wages because they're struggling, you know, and that's why it's a small business. Uh, and in the U.S., you know, it's typically the larger companies that are paying the lowest wages and, and um, or at least proportionally the lowest wages. So, I mean, Walmart is a great example. Walmart is a massive company. Uh, they make a lot of money for the for the owning operating family, but they famously have very low paid workers who have to get government assistance, you know, for rent and for food. So, yeah, no, it's low wages, low low pay, uh, not specific to independent businesses. So disqualified in my opinion. High prices, yeah, sometimes. Um, yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, if you like, if you're comparing something to Amazon, uh, then yeah, right. You're gonna you're gonna find higher prices at your local, you know, artisan shop than if you were shopping on Amazon. Probably, um, you know, unless you live in Brazil, right? And if you buy internationally, you pay a very high tax, uh, and you might just want to buy something, you know, closer to you in your neighborhood. Um, yeah, high prices, I guess, is part of the, the deal. If you're buying from someone who's a local business, um, you know, if, if you're paying higher prices, hopefully they're also paying their staff more. Um, if you're paying higher prices, hopefully it's because they're more sustainable, uh, friendlier to the environment. Who knows? But <laughs> usually there's a reason why prices are high uh, in one company or business and low in the big corporate version of that of that business as well so uh questionable value or sir questionable value i mean what the hell does that even mean i have no idea um i guess it depends on the the product uh, i'm not sure what they mean to say by questionable value service I, usually service is pretty damn good uh, if you go to a local store in the like i have a local toy store that i go to um, you know, I have a local, you know, brewery uh, that I go to, or, or um, a shoperia. Eh? Uh, you know, these it, I've never had bad service here. Uh, I, I I don't agree with that bad service or questionable service. Um, the last the last sentence, the last paragraph, the last chunk. On top of that, most small independents around here go bust. Due to high rent and never being open outside of office hours, high rent and going bust, going broke. I don't understand how that changes their support of local business, right? If you should, that should make you want to support them more. Uh, that's why the the prices might be higher as well. Uh, they're competing for rent with big companies who can who can pay that money easier uh, or more easily. Excuse me. Um, they talk about outs, uh, office hours again. What the hell does that mean? I, again, man or woman, this is a very strange complaint. Uh, selling out to a chain or the owner retires abroad with your money. Uh, yeah, the point is if you sell or if you buy, you, you are um, patronizing a local business, then you're helping someone who's your neighbor <laughs> have a better life or retirement. Aposentadoria, né? So, and why should you care who gets your money? And I guess you don't have to care, but if you're mentioning faceless, taxless uh, mega corporations or your neighbor, uh, Bill, who is your lifelong, you know, uh, shoe salesman or candle maker or uh, brewer, uh, yeah, I prefer my neighbor to get the money and have a good time with it. Uh, so... That doesn't seem like a strong, you know, case against local independent business. Um, 
Yeah, I, I think I disagree then. I think that this is, I think the, the strongest argument would be high prices, right? If you're, if, and that, that's how I make sense of this. If I'm looking for something, I'll look on Amazon first. Uh, if on Amazon it's very cheap and if I look around the neighborhood or make a few calls, uh, and if I find a similarly priced item locally, I think I prefer to buy it locally. But typically, wherever it's cheaper, yeah, I'm gonna buy the cheaper option as long as it's reliable, right? If you buy on Amazon, you could get some some broke ass <laughs> fake product. Um, if you buy it locally, I guess you could too, but you can touch it and pick it up first. So uh, yeah, it's price, it's price. If something's cheaper on Amazon, uh, or in some mega corp, uh, then yeah, okay, that's a that's the argument for me. Uh, if it's significantly, uh, uh, or I, I take that back, if it's not significantly different in price, I don't see any real good argument to not buy locally. Um, so yeah, I disagree. What is the local business scene in your region? Uh, do you agree or disagree? that supporting local independent businesses is usually a waste of time.